Welcome everyone to Trucking with Old Snapper. Hope everyone out there is doing great, staying safe, and staying out of trouble. This here will be the CDL air brakes test with questions and answers that are actually on the CDL air brakes test. Do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified about new videos when they come about. We do everything on this channel trucking related so you can stay on top of what's going on in the trucking industry. The written test can come in several different forms. However, all 50 states use the same CDL manual to take from federal regulations. All questions are based on the centralized manual, so tests between states are often similar. Which of the following is not a part of the air brake system? The answer is radio signal system. Spring brakes are brakes that come on automatically on a truck or tractor when the PSI drops too low, not going to take full effect until the, your PSI drops to a certain range, typically between 20 and 30 PSI, made up of powerful springs that are held back by air pressure while you're driving, all of the above. How do you tell if your vehicle is equipped with anti-lock braking system, ABS? Check if the vehicle was manufactured after 1998. How do brakes work on long, steep downgrade? They work as a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. What is the best way to test if your vehicle's spring brakes come on automatically? On single vehicles, continue to step on, the, on and off the brake pedal until the spring brake valve pops out. On a tractor, vehicles continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the manufacturer's low PSI specification is met for spring brakes to deploy, all of the above. Slack adjusters are between the power screw and push rod on disc brakes, a part of the air brake system that is used to adjust the brakes, between the push rod and S-cam on drum brakes, all of the above. All vehicles equipped with air brakes have a supply pressure gauge. With air brake equipped vehicles, the parking brake should be used whenever you leave the vehicle un unattended. Which of the following can cause brakes to fade or fail? Excessive use of the service brakes, brakes being out of adjustment, not relying enough on the engine brake, all of the above. An anti-lock braking system, or ABS, activates when your wheels are about to lock up. If you are on a steep downgrade and you have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour, you would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to 35 miles per hour. Which of the following is not a part of the braking process when you are driving a tractor trailer combination vehicle with ABS? You should drive faster so that you're able to keep the tractor and trailer straight. Which of the following should you do before leaving your vehicle unattended? Chalk the wheels, set the parking brakes, remove the keys, all of the above. The use of air brakes on a downgrade is only a supplement to the braking effect of the engine. What is the best way to test your vehicle's low air pressure warning signal? With the engine off, step on and off the brake pedal to lower the air pressure to 55 psi. Which vehicles must have low air pressure warning signals? All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation must have a low air pressure warning signal. If the air tanks are not drained, your brakes may fail because of water freezing. A low pressure warning signal is required on vehicles with air brakes. Which of the following will be true about your brake function if you're anti-lock braking system or ABS fails, you will still have normal brake function and will just need to get the ABS repaired soon. Which of the following are true about dual air brake systems? It uses a single set of brake controls. Usually one system operates the front axle and the other one operates the rear axle. One system is called the primary system and the other is called the secondary system. All of the above. The purpose of a supply pressure gauge is to tell you how much air is in the tank. 
The tractor protection valve provides air supply for brake system. Will close if you apply the parking brakes. Will close automatically if the air supply drops below a certain level. It does all of the above. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce air pressure at 150 PSI. The application air pressure gauge shows the amount of air pressure that you are applying to the brakes. The braking power of spring brakes depends on whether the service brakes are in proper adjustment. The most common type of foundation brake found on vehicles with air brakes is S-cam drum brakes. If your vehicle has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum sized air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 PSI within 45 seconds. I wish you all the best of luck on your CDL air brakes test. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell to keep updated on everything happening in the trucking industry today. I'm Old Snapper, and I'm out.